Hi, and welcome to Pico CTF 2018, number 18. And today's problem is called Akashel A for 150 points. It's still under general skills, but I think uh, I think this is actually the 10th general skills that we solved. And I don't think there's too many left of them. But uh, to read the problem here, it's never a bad idea to brush up on those Linux skills or even learn some new ones before you set off on this adventure. And the hints here is a Linux for beginners. It's a uh, tutorial and I have it uh, up here. And what it is, is it's actually just basic Linux skills uh, using the terminal. And as long as you know them, this is uh, not really going to be a uh, problem. So we're going to copy this uh, netcat with the port here. And uh, let's get going. All right, I'm logged in uh, the Pico shell here. You've seen me do this a thousand times before, so there's no need for me to do that uh, again. Now, here's the thing. Uh, this problem uh, uh, works on time. So if you don't solve it within a certain time period, it's going to disconnect you and you're going to have to start all over again. The good thing is that uh, when you do that, uh, number one, uh, you're going to type faster and you're going to think faster and you also have part of the solution, right? But all you need is that basic Linux tutorial. So if you want to do this by yourself first, do that, but don't stress it because of the time. If you get disconnected, all you have to do is just start all over again. And just remember, the problem doesn't change. So let's paste from the browser here. So that's our netcat and to our port and enter. Sweet. We have gotten access into the system, but we aren't root, right? We are not root. It's some sort of restricted shell. I can't see what you're typing, but I can see your output. I'll be here to help you along. If you need help, type echo help me and I'll see what I can do. There's not much time left, right? Trying to stress you out here. So the first thing we need to do here is do an LS, right? To find out what we have. And we have one, two, three, four, five directories here. And let's see if we can do a LS LA to see if there are any hidden files. And we're not permitted to do that, right? And we're not permitted to do that either. All right, so what we need to do here, right, is we need to go in on uh, blackmail, cd, blackmail, to get into that directory and take a look. And there's nothing that there, right? So cd, dot, dot, and we get a little further up here. Now I can go through all of these, right? But now I already know that CD and secret is the one I need. Now we're cooking. Take a look around there and tell me what you find. And we can take an LS here. And we have a lot of files here. And we're gonna stop right here now, right? Sabotage them, get rid of all their Intel files, okay? Now we see here that we have the profile files and then we have the Intel files here, right? So we need to get rid of these five files to get further. And we're gonna do that, but we're gonna just let this time out now. Uh, but what I can say is uh, we're gonna do this the easy way. We're not gonna take one file at a time, we're actually going to take all these files at the same time, and uh, we're going to do that using uh, a wildcard in Linux called the asterisk, which is the star 
and I've made a, a separate tutorial on how to use the star in Linux in a Linux category just like the CTF category uh, and I'll put a link for that. So let's try a uh, RM for remove and uh, we need an I here right to define the Intel files and then we'll do our asterisk which means everything that comes behind the I here and let's do an enter nice once once they all are gone, I think I can drop you a file of an exploit. Just type echo, drop it in, and we can give it a whirl. All right, let's do that. So echo, and then drop it in. And enter. I placed the file in the executables folder as it looks like the only place we can execute from. Run the script I wrote to have a little more impact on the system. All right, so we need to get into the executables here, right? And the executables is actually a sibling to secret here. So CD change directory dot dot and we're now back and now we can do a CD executables enter and an LS to see what's here don't look here alright we're supposed to run this but you know why not just take a look at what's inside it don't look here with a cat and that is the script here which doesn't really tell you much but you can take a print screen of it and uh, find out what it does but we know that a dot and a slash here and don't look here is gonna run it All right, looking through the text above, I think I have found the password. I'm just having trouble with a username. Oh, drats, they're on to us. We could get kicked out soon. Quick, print the username to the screen so we can close our back, uh, I supposed to say our there, our back door and log into the account directly. You have to find another way than echo. All right, so here's the thing. All right, now we're logged out, right? Now, here's the thing, and this could probably stress you out a little bit, is because you're into the system as yourself, but in reality, you're not into the system yourself. So you got to figure out who you are. And to do that, we have a command which says, who am I? which is in the Linux tutorial and that's actually what we got to do here. So let's type in who am I? Enter and there we have uh, probably the username. Perfect, one second. Okay I think I have got what we're looking for. I just need to copy the file to a place we can read. Try copying the file called top secret in temp directory into the passwords folder. Okay, so here's the thing. We haven't seen a temp directory, but we have to assume there is a temp directory, right? So uh, what we need to do here is we're going to copy that top secret file from the temp directory and into the password folder to get us further, right? 
So even though we don't know that there's a temp directory, we just got to believe that there is one. So we're going to move out of the executables here, cd dot dot to get us up one step. LS doesn't really help us because we can't see the temp here, but we're going to do a CP, which is copy slash temp slash. And remember, top secret is with a capital T and a capital S. And we're going to move it into the passwords like that. And we are going to uh, go into the passwords. LS. And let's do a real fast top secret here. All right, here we have it. Okay, uh, now it doesn't matter if it times out. Uh, what we did here was uh, we didn't really have to go through these uh, with uh, an LS uh, because we already knew the temp wasn't really there. But uh, we moved up a step and then we copied the top secret from the temp here with an absolute path. And we put it into the passwords which we have here. And then it stated server shutdown in 10 seconds. Quick, go read the file before we lose our connection. And one way that we do that, well, first of all, we had to go into the passwords here, right? CD change directory. And one way to do that where we can see things on the terminal is with the cat command, which we've used uh, a lot of times from before. So cat top secret you could probably just have uh, done a T here on a tab, which would have given you top secret to do it a little faster. I just don't know if the Pico would have uh, done that for us. And then we have a uh, long uh, paragraph here, but we do have the flag which we wanted right here. And that's what it's all about. We can't do it like that. We have to uh, control C. Well, that's the flag. So let's uh, move back here to uh, our problems. So what this is all about is actually just using the Linux terminal and uh, moving up and down in directories, listing out uh, what's inside a directory, using cat to look at uh, what a file says. The only thing I actually don't think uh, we have done before is uh, the copy. Uh, apart from that, everything uh, we have already already done before. And uh, the whole problem is just trying to stress you out a little bit and getting you to learn how to use the terminal and uh, in this exact problem uh, just using it a little faster than normal and if it timed out on you that's really not a problem at all. Let's uh, submit this and we have one more problem solved. Okay until next time hope you got something out of this.